before we get into it. But for now, stay on the left and look at this building with a super reflect a reflective, almost silvery blue glass on the outside. It almost looks like it's jutting towards us. This is Swiss Hotel. And as we float on by the front, you'll be able to see exactly what shape it's built in. It's built in the shape of a giant triangle. Swiss Hotel was designed by architect Harry Weiss in the 1980s, and Harry Weiss triangle. loved triangles. He thought they mimicked the shape of the sail on his beloved sailboat, and he actually tried to incorporate triangles in almost every single one of his designs. We'll see another one of Harry Weiss's triangular shaped buildings in just a few minutes when we head up on the north branch of the river. It's always really easy for me to remember the name of Swiss Hotel. It's a big, shiny triangle. It looks like a huge, beautiful bar of Swiss Toboro chocolate. Yum, 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 yum. Don't tell Harry Weiss I said that. Now, off to the right-hand side, you'll see this yellow, onion-shaped dome coming into view on top of the Intercontinental Hotel. Now, I like to think that that onion-shaped dome is paying homage to the stinky onions of Chicago's history, but it was actually built to be a Zeppelin or a little more, kind of the predecessor to the helicopter landing pad. However, after the Hindenburg disaster, the popularity of blimps and Zeppelins fell dramatically. Pardon my pun, so it was never actually used in that way. It was turned into a viewing platform for just a few years. Now, unfortunately, that whole structure on top of the Intercontinental Hotel is closed to the public, but you can still enjoy it. If you're hanging out in downtown Chicago at night, look up. Keep your eyes peeled for that onion-shaped dome, because you'll see it illuminated in all sorts of beautiful different colors, changes throughout the year for different holidays as well. It makes for a gorgeous late spring evening. Everything that's going on around this building. Not only 
located in a natural environment than the other buildings in this neighborhood as well. Trump Tower was completed in 2009. Lead architect on this project was a local Chicago star architect by the name of Adrian Smith. And we have to like to refer to Adrian Smith as being the world's tallest architect. And this is not because he was particularly tall, he was 5'7", but it is because he has designed some of the world's tallest buildings, including the current world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. It actually looks very similar to Trump Tower, a lot of those same kind of setbacks mounted to it. Chicago band. So 